Term 1 of 2019 has been a hive of activity for our school community. From camps to carnivals, our students have had unique social, spiritual and sporting opportunities to showcase their talent and house pride. The completion of the Kellyville Seventh-day Adventist Church on our campus has been exciting news as this facility will enable our school to be a part of a bigger cause serving our local community. Our year started with both campuses joining together for our opening convocation, which showcased our school leadership for this year. Enthusiastic and compelling addresses were given from staff and student leadership, which helped to set the tone for what we will achieve and stand for this year as a school community. In the second week of this term, our Year 7s, full of excitement, headed off to the Outdoor Adventure Camp in Morissette for three days of action-packed fun. This camp is a great opportunity for our new stream of students and our continuing students to create meaningful friendships through challenging activities. Some of the highlights include treetop high rope courses, zip lines, canoeing, sailing and mud world. This was a great camp which helped establish the strong sense of belonging and community that our students feel at Hills Adventist College. Our Year 9 hiking camp is designed to remove students from their everyday life and to be self-sufficient in orienteering, cooking and camping for three days out in the Picton region. With varying routes and degrees of difficulty, each student is challenged proportionally which ensures the right mix of fun and resilience training. This year's weather was sunny and fine, which was an improvement on last year's camp. Using only a map, compass and grid references, the students navigated their way through the thick bush, steep mountains and social situations which ensured that everyone was challenged and triumphed upon reaching the buses at the end of the camp. Well done to all who have completed this journey. Our swimming carnival was a great day for our student body. From multiple records being broken to fantastic house captain leadership, the day was a complete success. With some hot weather and a refreshing pool, students competed confidently against their nemesis houses with sportsmanship and dignity. But with every carnival comes a victory, and this year Hunter won the competition with an overall points total of 1,570. Congratulations to the Hunter House and all those who will be competing at the ACES Carnival. In the second last week of term, our students got the opportunity to compete in the annual cross-country event in Rouse Hill. With races ranging from 2 to 8 kilometres, the Year 3 to 12 students completed the races in varying fashions, from disciplined athletes to the casual social walkers. Well done to all those who placed and will be competing at the representative levels. On the Castle Hill campus, we also had our K-2 cross-country. The morning was a joyful time, where children learn that when competing at your best, you're always a winner. Our Year 12 sat their mid-year exams this term, which means that they are just over half the way through the HSC. We wish them all the best as they continue to prepare for the end of their schooling life. The theme for Senior Day of Worship 2019 was Better Together. It focused on the idea that although we can have many personal accomplishments, culture change and world change happens when we work as a collective with one vision. The male students spent the morning in a group drum lesson, learning to keep in sync with each other and found that this was only possible if they listened to the master drummer. In a Christian journey, that master drummer is Jesus. While the gents were beating the drums, the ladies spent the morning doing group activities, attempting to break down the barriers of competition and rivalry to create a united community. The day ended with a program that brought all the students together and challenged them to put Jesus at the centre of their lives. This has been a big term for everyone in our college community, and our hope is that the holiday period can be a restful and relaxing time where families can prepare and refocus for the opportunities and challenges of Term 2.